Good morning, children, and welcome back in your English class. And I hope that you are going fit and fine. You are, uh, you are. I also hope that you are happy. You are full of joy and you are full of excitement. And I also hope that you have watched my video. You have seen my video. And uh, as you know that, as you we all know that we have started the first chapter that is the portrait of lady, a uh, short story uh, written by Kushan Singh. We have already discussed about uh, uh, children. We have already discussed about the summary. We have already discussed about its background. We have already discussed about the brief life sketch of Kushan Singh, its author. So children, and also we were uh, and uh, in previous lecture uh, we have. Uh, it's, we have discussed about the some background of the story, uh, and some uh, we have also discussed about the theme and moral and message of the uh, uh, story uh, written by Kushwan Singh. Children, in the previous lecture, we have uh, done we have already done the explanation of uh, uh, three paragraphs of the story. We were doing the explanation of the paragraph one by one. Uh, uh, so we have already uh, done. We have already completed three paragraphs uh, along with the explanation. So in today's lecture, we will continue um, uh, the explanation of the paragraph. We will continue uh, the reading of the paragraph. First, I will read the paragraph and then I will tell the explanation of uh, that paragraph one by one. So, children, uh, in today's lecture, we will start the fourth paragraph of the uh, story, that is the portrait of a lady uh, written by Kushwan Singh. So, children, uh, let's start the explanation of the paragraphs as we have started from previous lecture. And in previous lecture, we have done the three paragraphs along with the meanings, along with the explanations. But now in this lecture, in today's lecture, we will continue the explanation of the uh, remaining paragraphs and we will start uh, fourth paragraph in today's lecture. Uh, so children, we have already done the three paragraphs with the explanation and uh, where we have left, we have uh, uh, earlier in the third paragraph, we have discussed ki how the author's grandmother used to wake him, uh, wake him uh, up early in the morning and get him ready for school and she would make his things ready. Also, the author would eat a thick stale chapati with butter and sugar spread on it and also both uh, used to walk to school and his grandmother the carried stale chapatis with her to feed the village dogs we have done up to here uh, this paragraph this line and now what happened next then what happened next let's uh, let's read the paragraph fourth what happened next my grandmother always went to school with me because the school was attached to the temple the priest taught us the alphabet and morning prayer while the children sat in rows on either side of the veranda singing the alphabet or the prayer in a chorus what happened in the uh, what happened next what author says in this paragraph so in this paragraph the author says that his grandmother accompany him his grandmother went to school with him as the temple was attached to the school so that is why his grandmother went uh, with him to the school because the temple was attached to the school and what happened then and one uh, on one side he would sit in the veranda and then and uh, the children used to the children uh, uh, where the children sat in rows on uh, uh, one side of the veranda and the children uh, were singing the alphabet or the prayer together in a chorus and one on other hand and uh, on and on the other hand the grandmother would sit in the temple to read the scriptures inside the temple it means that ki on one hand the children were uh, reading were singing the alphabet in a chorus or prayer in a chorus and on other hand his grandmother sat inside the temple to read the scriptures scriptures means the sacred writings of a religion aapne dekha hoga jo puja paath ki jo kitabe hoti jo bhagwan ke stuti ki jo kitabe hoti hai dharmik jo kitabe hoti hai that those books are called scriptures the grandmother used to sit inside the temple to read the scriptures. Then what happened next? When we had both finished, we would walk back together. 
This time the village dogs would meet us at the temple door. They followed us to our home growling and fighting with each other for the chapatis we threw to them. Now then when my parents were comfortably settled in the city they sent for us. Now what happened next what author says after that after finishing after finishing they would they would walk back home together now we would walk back together who are here we we are his grandmother and kushwan singh the author and his grandmother would walk back together home the will and then what happened this time the village dogs met them at the village door they would follow them they would follow them who uh, uh, who followed them the dogs followed them the grandmother and the kushwan singh the dogs followed them and then what happened they followed them and growling and fight growling and fighting growling means have aapne kabhi kabhi dekha hoga na ki jo dogs jo street dog hote hain wo throat se awaaz nikalte hain jise gurrana growling means in hindi mein you can say that gurrana gurra kar bolna yani throat se awaaz nikalna yani making a low uh, guttural sound of a in the throat in the throat yani jo gale se bilkul daba kar jo growling yani gurrani jaisi awaaz aati hai sounds hota hai that is called growling so what happened next the village dogs met him at the village door village door and they would follow them to and they would follow them uh, them growling and fighting for what with each other for the stale chapatis that she fed them when my parents were comfortable settled in the city they sent for us what happened then when his parents got settled in the city they called them jab us jab uske parents jo hai wo city chale gaye the jaisa ki isse pehle bhi humne aapko bataya tha usse pehle aapne padha ki uske parents kushwan singh ke jo parents the wo unko unki dadi ke paas chhod ke shehar mein rehne chale gaye the and when they settle down there in the city they called them jab wahan pe wo settle ho gaye to unke parents ne kya kiya ki unki dadi kushwan singh ko aur unki grand mother ko they called them wahan par unhone bula liya and that was the that was a turning point in our friendship and that was the turning point of his friendship with his grandmother and that was a turning point in their beautiful relationship uh, when they when the parents of the kushwan singh called them in the city then what happened then although we shared the same room my grandmother no longer came to school with me and they went to the city uh, to live with uh, his parents and then what happened in the city and the, the turning point came or arrived in the relationship how the turning pa- uh, what type of turning point and how the turning point came or arrived in their beautiful relationship how they shared the same room and it there in the city they shared the same room my grand but what happened although they shared the same room but his grandmother no longer would give him company to his school at the village jab us village mein the to both went uh, to school together because the temple was attached to the school lekin jab city mein wo aate hain although they shared the same room but his grandmother lekin yahan pe kya hua his grandmother no longer would give him company to his school lekin yahan pe uski grandmother uske sath school nahi jati thi and what happened i used to go to an english school in a motor bus why because he started going to an english medium school and a motor bus would come to pick and drop him yani wo kis wo wahan par jo hai wo apni grandmother ke sath village mein school jate the but in the city what happened the school bus yani he started going to an english medium school he got admission in an english medium school and then what happened he started going in to an english medium school and a motor bus and a motor bus would come to pick and drop him then what happened next there were no dogs in the streets and she took to feeding sparrows in the courtyard of a city house now in the village the grandmother used to uh, feed the uh, street dogs with stale chapatis but in the cities there were no dogs so what happened so what his grandmother uh, w- was doing in the city what grandmother was doing she 
she uh, his grandmother he started his grandmother there was no dogs in the street whom she would feed as she did in the village then what happened so she started so what she started so she started feeding sparrows in the veranda courtyard is here veranda in the veranda of their house so she started feeding the small birds sparrows in the veranda of the house so this is the fourth paragraph and now let's start the fifth paragraph what happened next in the fifth paragraph then what happened in the fifth paragraph children in the fifth paragraph the author says what author says as the years rolled by we saw less of each other now for some time she continued to wake me up and get me ready for school when i came back she would ask me what the teacher had taught me i would tell her english words and little things of western science a learning and learning the law of gravity archimedes principle the world being round etc now what author says in the fifth para in this paragraph the author says that uh, as the years passed in the city as the years passed in the city their interaction reduced yani jaise jaise saal ye jaise jaise jo hai wo saal bitta gaya unka jo wo aapsi jo interaction tha ek dusre ke sath unki grandmother aur kushwan singh mein wo interaction jo tha wo dheere dheere decrease hone laga kam hone laga their interaction reduced for some time she continued to wake me up and get me ready for school but for some time she continued to wake him up to wake him up and would get ready for the school but when i came back she would ask me what the teacher had taught me now the when when he came back to home she would ask me uh she would ask him the kushwan singh the his grandmother could asked kushwan singh what he had learned in the school that day then what kushwan singh replies i would tell her english words and the little things of western science and learning the law of gravity archimedes principle the world being round etc now what author replies what author says to his grandmother he says he replies that the scientific terminology and english words made her unhappy when he told about his subjects to his grandmother that he studies subjects like mathematics science physics chemistry and english then his grandmother became very upset because he could not able to understand all those subjects at all his grandmother could not able to understand those subjects at all because uh, when he told about his subjects his grandmother became very upset then yeah, then what happened this made her unhappy this made what made her unhappy the about the subjects when the grand when kushwan singh told about his subjects that he studied western science that he studies law of gravity when he told about archimedes principle when he told about the words being round etc then his grandmother could not able to understand all those subjects and then he she became unhappy then what happened she could not help me with my lessons why she became very unhappy because she could not yani as she did not know the language as she did not able to know the languages as she did not know the language she could not help him with the lessons that is why she became upset जो मदर थी जो उनकी ग्रैंड मदर थी वो जो है वो उन साइंस की लैंग्वेज या टर्मिनोलॉजी जो साइंस की टर्मिनोलॉजी थी इन इनकी लैंग्वेज को शी कुड नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज़ वाई वॉट हैपन एज शी डिड नॉट नो द लैंग्वेज शी कुड नॉट हेल्प हिम विद द लेसन्स शी डिड नॉट बिलीव इन द थिंग्स they taught at the english school and was distressed that there was no teaching about god and the scriptures and one reason is also why she became unhappy and upset ek reason aur tha ki kyun wo dukhi ho gayi thi as this new school never taught him about the god and religious scriptures 
ये जो नया स्कूल था इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल था इसमें कोई भी ऐसी टीचिंग नहीं थी जो गॉड के बारे में या धार्मिक ग्रंथों के बारे में पढ़ाया जा रहा हो एज द न्यू स्कूल नेवर टॉट हिम अबाउट गॉड एंड रिलीजियस स्क्रिप्चर्स एंड दिस मेड हर सैड एंड दिस मेड हर अनहैप्पी देन वॉट हैपन नेक्स्ट वन डे आई अनाउंसड दैट वी वे बींग गिवन म्यूजिक लेसन एंड इंस्टेड there was uh, there was no teaching about god and scriptures instead he was given music lessons aur yahan aur jo hai fir aage kya hua ki one day the uh, one day uh, the author one day the author uh, announced uh, author author told about his music lesson then what happened she did not approve of such an education जब ऑथर ने उसको म्यूजिक लेसन के बारे में अपनी मदर से ग्रैंड मदर से बताया देन हिज देन हिज ग्रैंड मदर डिड नॉट अप्रूव ऑफ सच एन एजुकेशन एंड वॉट हैपन शी वॉज वेरी डिस्टर्ब वेन शी केम टू नो दैट ही वॉज गेटिंग म्यूजिक लेसन इट डिस्टर्ब हर एंड वेन शी केम टू नो अबाउट हिज म्यूजिक लेसन कि देर वॉज नो टीचिंग अबाउट गॉड एंड रिलीजियस स्क्रिप्चर्स इन दिस इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल इंस्टेड ही वॉज he was given music lesson and uh, music lessons then what happened it disturbed her then to her music had lived associations it was the monopoly of her lords and beggars and not mean for gentle folk she said nothing but her silence meet disapproval now according to her what happened in these lines what the author says that ki to her music like according to her music was indecent and it was it was an art for the beggars and prostitutes what she believed that music was and music was indecent and music was an art for only beggars and prostitutes and not for the those belongings to the decent families music जो है वो कैसे सोचती थी कि म्यूज़िक जो है वो बेगर्स के लिए बस है नॉट जेंटल फोक के लिए है म्यूज़िक जैसे जो लेसन्स म्यूज़िक उनके क्लास में स्कूल में पढ़ाए जा रहे थे शी बिलीव दैट एनी अकॉर्डिंग टू हर वॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू हर म्यूज़िक वॉज इंडिसेंट एंड इट वॉज एन आर्ट फॉर ओनली बेगर्स एंड प्रॉस्टिट्यूट्स एंड नॉट फॉर दोज बिलोंगिंग टू दोज डिसेंट फैमिलीज देन वॉट हैपन शी सेड नथिंग शी डिड नॉट लाइक दैट ही लर्न म्यूज़िक so she stopped talking to him isliye wo kuch keh bhi nahi payi so she stopped uh, talking to him so this is your fifth paragraph and uh, the meaning uh, the words the difficult words are given children you can see the difficult words along with the meanings then let's start the seventh sixth paragraph what happened in sixth paragraph after that then i then when i went up to the university i was given a room of my own the common link of friendship was snapped now another turning point came or arrived in their beautiful relationship when the author got admission ya yeah, when the author went to university for further studies then another turning point came when i went up to university then the author says that ki as the author went to university he had given Uh, he had a room of his own then the common link of friendship was snapped then the common link of his friendship with his grandmother that they had when they had they had when they shared the same room was changed now and thus what happened his friendship with her ended what happened then ki when the or as the author went to university he had a room of his own and the common link of and then what happened the common link of his friendship with his grandmother that they had when they shared the same room was changed and now thus his friendship with her ended his friendship uh, jo came to an end my grandmother accepted her seclusions with re- resignation he rarely left her spinning wheel to talk to anyone now what happened next then what happened uh, uh, she became more private she became more uh, private and spent her whole day uh, sp- spinning wheel and she spent plenty of her time uh, sitting beside the spinning wheel and then what happened 
from sunrise to sunset she sat by her wheel spinning and reciting prayers and from sunrise to sunset yani subah se sham tak she would sit and silently recite her prayers वो सुबह से शाम तक सिर्फ अपने प्रेयर्स को ही रिसाइड करती थी प्रेयर्स ही पढ़ती रहती थी देन शी यू शी स्पेंड प्लेंटी ऑफ हर टाइम इन सिटिंग बिसाइड स्पिनिंग वेल एंड रिसाइटिंग प्रेयर्स फ्रॉम सनराइज टू सनसेट देन व्हाट हैपन ओनली इन द आफ्टरनून शी रिलैक्स्ड फॉर अ वाइल टू फीड द स्पैरोज नाउ वॉट हैपन इन इन हर लाइफ इन द आफ्टरनून शी यूज टू फीड स्पैरोज इन द वेरा and then while she sat in the veranda breaking the bread into little bits hundreds of little birds collected round her creating a variable bed lamb of chir- chirpings now what happened she used to feed sparrows in the veranda and breaking the bread into small pieces she would feed hundred of birds she would feed hundred of little birds and what birds um uh would do the birds would gather around her the birds would gather around her some sat near her some on her legs and some on her shoulders and few on her head now what happened ki she she used to feed sparrows and sparrows in the veranda and what happened she breaking the bread into small pieces she would feed hundred of birds and the bird some came and perched on her legs others on her shoulders some even sat on her head she smiled but never shooed them away it used to be the happiest half hour of the day for her what author says the author says that the birds would gather around her some sat near her some on her leg some on her shoulder and few on her head and she never shoot them shoot uh, shoot means make a person or animal go away by shouting or saying shoot uh, uh, some kabhi kabhi hum jo chidiyon ko bhagane ke liye shoot jaisi awaaz nikalte hai na to sometime uh, it happens so she never shoot them shoot means make a person or animal go away by uh, shouting or saying shoot so she never shoot them she never uh, um, uh, make those birds go away she never shoot them away instead but she used to be the happiest half hour of the day for her but always she always smiled she always smiled and she was the happiest in that half an hour during the whole day and she was the happiest in that half an hour during the whole day so children we will stop here and um, in the next uh, lecture we will start our next paragraph seventh paragraph to humne six paragraph tak explanation kar liya hai and you can also see the meaning word difficult words and meanings and also children we in the next uh, lecture we will start our next paragraph that is the seventh paragraph with the explanation so uh, take care of yourself and your family goodbye